okay so i was uh, talking about uh, basically about ad astra so if you see his name brad pitt so this also you know the pit of the hell pit of the underworld from where you know the snakes uh, come or you know the basically the scorpions come now recently you know what happened you know this news right so spacex first crew dragon astronaut settle into the space station so i hope now you are getting yep, the yep, connection yep. yeah so spacex is calling its crew or whatever his ship as dragon then yes. you have saint george and the dragon saint george and the dragon right so that is one very very important yep. connection then he acted in this movie called world war z and it is a, a zombie apocalypse movie basically all the zombies and all so where do you find zombies or where do you find dead people walking kind of dead people walking is underworld so that means through some kind of a time travel or time portal or something we probably landed here because we are all undertook a pledge called hero's journey so whenever my sound is not good you please tell me okay i am using a microphone now oh no yeah you're, you're fine so this is the sting of the scorpion so scorpion snakes all these creatures they live under the ground and what is coronavirus when did coronavirus come it came on december 28 29 when the sun was near the underworld hmm. when was jesus christ born december 25th as per like most of the some people say february but then most of the people say uh, jesus was born near december 25th and now yeah, let me let me yeah now this is brad pitt what is his date of birth 18 december i mean can mm. you see the coincidence absolutely right so what is 18 december 18 december again is uh, opiocus it's also the underworld it's also the nadir point right so basically this is this uh, december january so anybody who is born in december january they will have many planets in the underworld and if they are lucky they will act as a hero or protagonist of movies in which they are called upon action so one of the brad pitt movies was a very famous movie seven so what does seven talk about it's a uh, talks about the seven sins yes that was a great movie scares yes. the jesus out of me yes Did yes it was horrible it's a horrible movie and he uh, kevin spacey he goes about you know uh, killing people who commit the kevin spacey he goes about yep. killing the people who commit the sin gluttony sloth and all that and in the me too movement recently he was also accused i think 2 years back yes he was he was so what does it show i mean what are the connections showing it is showing that we are all the heroes and we are all collectively in the underworld because nothing is disconnected everything is joined if you see carefully i mean kevin spacey the actor in the movie 7 he kills people who commit crimes such as lust uh, extreme lust or extreme gluttony extreme this extreme that he himself is accused of lust yes ironic ironic okay then brad pitt he also is like his name is pitt underworld and all that he acts in a movie in which the ship name is cepheus he acts in a movie called world war z and he also acts in a movie i think uh, it is fight club or something where he is the alter ego or something yes right so alter ego so this is one of the common themes in most of the games also
So in most Incredible. of the games also, if you see, this is done by Ubisoft, again, a, a Freemason company. So, so you have the dark side and the light side. You have the underworld and you have the known world. So the known world, underworld, both come together. And this is the same thing like in Fight Club. Hmm. Right? In Fight Club, he is like the alter ego. Brad Pitt. Because yeah. he is Pitt. So he is the underworld. He is the alter ego. So his knee. So basically, when you see his horoscope, when you see Brad Pitt's horoscope, you see sun here in Sagittarius 25 degrees, right? And then you also see that, uh, as I was saying, that Opiocus. I'll just open this. This is called Opiocus. I have already spoken about it earlier. But I will show the fixed stars in this. So I'll go to the fixed stars in this constellation. Can you see this uh, Charles 25 yeah. degrees Sagittarius? Yeah. See? So the serpent holder or the guy who is holding the dragon, right? It is around 21, 23, 25 degrees of Sagittarius. And what is Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt sun is in 25 degrees Sagittarius. That means he is the Opiocus. Wow. Same way like Jesus. Why Jesus? Because Jesus is also born around that time, 25th December. So what happens with these people is they have they have reached that Trump, uh, what is that, uh, what Angel was saying, the death moment. So the tower moment. They have seen that. The innocence is gone. Then they develop new things. The alter ego is developed. Then they, they have to crush the, or merge the alter ego. So, so what is the story of Jesus? Jesus and Jesus temptation. Serpent. So I think most Christians would know this. Yep. What is temptation of the Christ? In the temptation of Christ, the devil cites Psalm 91, 11, 12. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning three and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at any time thou dash put against a stone. He cuts off those thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon. Can you see this? Yes. Young lion and the dragon. What is he doing? Opiocus taming the dragon. Who is he? Absolutely. The alter ego or the dragon. So that is how these things are connected, Charles. Incredible. So the hero's journey is the journey of the souls. So even Sam Worthington is born on 2nd August, so he's a Leo. But his planets, again, if you go to his movie itself, and you know what, this was yesterday's news, I think, or two days ago. Titan is drifting away from Saturn 100 times faster than we thought it seems. This was yesterday or day before yesterday's news. Saturn moons Titan. And coming back to Sam Worthington movies. You know in which movie he acted? One more movie, Titan. Can you see the connection now? He okay. has acted, he has acted in a movie called Titan, Avatar, Clash of the Titans. And yesterday, this news came that Titan is drifting away from Saturn. What does it mean? It means we are entering the age of Aquarius. So when you are seeing the signs in the sky, you have to see these things very closely, very carefully. So he acted in the movie Titan. So you, somebody may ask like, how, what, how, how, there's no sense. But I am saying you, I'm telling you, everything has a sense. 
if you care to care to watch closely titan is drifting away from saturn what is saturn saturn is chronos time and in which movies did our uh, sam worthington act clash of the titans and his name is perseus swan mm. comet mm. went into mm. perseus everything is linked mm. Mm. so that's what it is i mean i have uh, you know explained the hero's journey through mm -hmm. our current situation also like you know uh, you know andromeda is the princess she is in chains and the lockdown started in march most of the countries especially in india and march april is the time of andromeda may june around this time is the time of perseus and the sound bugle has been the war bugle has been raised that is what we heard we heard the sound on 20th may in the form of comets van going near alcohol so everything is happening so temptation of the christ now the headley george headley crisis okay king george and king arthur those themes are coming back so what is king arthur again king arthur is again related to the holy grail and these people are also feeding your mind they're telling you space x dragon dragon is escaping mm -hmm. dragon is going out and dragon is one of the pole stars so pole star of the kali age or the dark age so that is going out space x what is x x means exit living waters so that is why i will show you something about x so this is one of the popular uh, telecom companies in india it launched something called as x stream then coca cola it launched a new drink called next n e x t see with a big x then you have iphone isn't it you have iphone x you just simply shift this i here what is what does it become phoenix what is phoenix it is dragon it is lyra it is vega and all that mm, mm, mm. so in that way everything so x is like x is that and i have i was telling you that in one of my videos i clearly said that a is one constellation b is one constellation x is the constellation of the god of the underworld his name is varuna he is also called as poseidon poseidon is the god of oceans so x means oceans also exit from the underworld so we are almost at the end of the journey i hope by now people have you know got the gist of uh, what i am saying absolutely clearly yes chance so that's all i had